Good Wednesday morning. Time for me to get up and get ready for work. Let's go. All right, so here we are in the day. Welcome to the video. Um, Mary probably, I'm pretty sure she did her intro of the, like, when I go, like, hi. Love seeing it. Every once in a while when uh, she wakes up, I'll get up. I'll open my eyes, I see her in the bathroom getting ready. Clock back out. Sometimes she, uh, I, I get up and I'm up. Other times she's uh, getting herself ready and every single day right before she heads to work, she gives me a kiss. I didn't know this for a little while, but then <clears throat> one day she uh, got up or this happened like maybe two or three times but she comes over to give me the morning kiss and apparently my body doesn't realize that it's her and I start like waking up and like doing one of those weird things but it wasn't today it's just something that popped on my head so woke up this morning Took the boys to school, got up extra early, 20 minutes earlier than usual. Boys are like, why are we leaving so early? I'm like, you guys were late. You guys don't want to move your asses in the morning, so we'll just wake up earlier. And uh, so we got them to school, got back home, looked at my phone, and it said, view your pay statement. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I got paid last week on Friday. And so I look at it. Apparently I got the uh, bonus this year. So I didn't get it. Um, I don't think that I got a bonus last year. I don't know. Because I had like, just recently gotten hired. But never had a bonus when I was working at Taco Bell, security, um, of course, any of the on-call jobs, because they're not actually jobs. And when I was working in the factory, we'd get a bonus. They'd say, you know, yeah, we're getting you like, you know, let's say 600 bucks. Well, a lot of that's being taken out. So you're in check between the 600, the 1,000 bonus was um, like anywhere between 200 to 600 dollars because they love the double tax bonuses thank you government and so i got the bonus this morning and it's significantly higher than what i'm used to seeing from the factories and i'm like wow that's a it's pretty decent so then i message it to mary and apparently i had gotten two bonuses Apparently my work gave out two different bonuses, so I was like, okay, we can, you know, get that to pay off a little bit of something and get Mary a new computer, so that's what I'm hoping to do later. Hoping. I gotta convince Mary to, when she gets home, to up out of her computer chair to go to the store to get a computer. We could just build one, but... If we're being honest, building a computer is damn near equally as pricey as just buying one nowadays. And so what I like to do is buy a uh, decent computer. With a decent computer, I don't quite trust the graphics cards that come inside them. So I just, in the, my head, I know that later on I might have to replace the graphics card. But most of the rest of the computer is basically good for however long you need it. So, graphics cards are the most pricey thing, but they're also the easiest to replace, basically. So, hopefully I can get her a new computer 
and she can get back to editing videos with a decent amount of time exporting them out along with being able to play her games without having to wait 10 minutes for it to load. And maybe, just maybe, because it'll have increased specs, it'll crash less. I don't know, it's still EA. I'm still not a fan of EA. Never will be. I think that they've permanently scarred me. But then again, so have a lot of companies. We'll say Ubisoft. Um, Blizzard is really, really getting close to um, pushing me away from all their games. I think I might buy like the next expansion of WoW, but I'm still on the fence about it because of all the previous products. But they were just bought by Microsoft and no longer controlled by Activision because Activision's another one that's uh, a bad one on my list. It seems that they just run their games down into the ground. Everybody's all about releasing the game before it's ready. And that's why all these people that have these small indie studios or just a single person making a game can make a video game better than a team of, you know, 1,000 people because they actually want to make a video game where the other companies... Like, a couple of the people want to make a game. The other people are just showing up to work and just doing what their boss tells them to do. And half the time they're not allowed to be creative because being creative doesn't make the money. And so it's like game companies nowadays aren't just making games to make games. They're coming up with the price before they come up with the game. That's why games like Pal World, small team, Came out with a game, 10 million copies sold like nothing in a week. You got small, like single people that are making games and selling 100,000 copies. Great reviews, great games. People would love to buy the next game, including Mary's, um, one of Mary's favorites, uh, Stardew Valley creator, uh, Concerned Ape, I think it is. I don't know. But Mary's really looking forward to his next game. and. It's one of the most, I would call it one of the most successful games there is right now. And so his future game will definitely sell. Whereas all these gaming companies are putting out crappier games, crappier games, and then being like, why is nobody buying our game? Maybe we'll just increase the price. That doesn't fix the problem. So give Mary a new computer. Hopefully her new computer will have less crashes on the game that is notorious world round for still crashing and having issues that should have been solved and there's actually a couple developers out there right now that are making a sims like game that might be able to rival sims and if they do i really hope that mary tries them out so that she can see you know the quality of a game that she should be experiencing mary's computer that thing's slowly going out she's now down to one monitor because out of nowhere the monitors just decided to stop working. And I think it's just the graphics card just forgot how to work because she, like nothing changed physically. And yet, no matter what configuration I give that, I know the monitor works because I plugged in the one HDMI over to it and it works. But the port down for the graphics card does not work, so. It is just going out and I really can't wait to get her a new computer. Been trying to get her a new computer for a year, been bugging her about it. And of course we haven't had the money, but that's one of the best parts about waiting for something is when you get it, it's much more worthwhile. I'm not a very patient person either, so. I wanna just get stuff and you know, I know I'm gonna get it eventually, might as well get it now. But it wasn't feasible. And now, because of this bonus today, hopefully we'll be able to and pay off a little bit of debt. There's, there's a comfortable range of debt that I'm willing to sit at, as long as it means that I can get her a new computer. Because that'll make her happy and in turn makes me happy because she's happy. It's time to start work now. All right, so I'm currently moving crap around in this living room. I don't know how it's gonna end up. 
All I know is that that computer desk is gonna end up right there because Mary likes the view to the outside and being right there, it is blocked, but she didn't need to see the outside during the winter months. So, then we'll take the bird feeder that's over here and I'll move that over there so that from this viewpoint, she can see it. And that's about the only plan I have so far. Um, just slowly moving things around, but I'm running to work doing some stuff and then running over here and moving an object and then running back over here doing some more stuff. And it's just back and forth, so it's not gonna be a very good uh, recording process. Um, other than that, I'm taking the uh, humidifier and removing it from right here. TV will probably move because Mary will like the view to the window. So maybe that'll go in front of the fireplace? I don't know, we'll see. So here's mid-progress. Putting the TV over there in that corner. Mary's computer's semi-setup in that corner. And then I'm thinking, have one couch go this way, have the other go that way. And then we'll just have this big old open area right here to walk through. Progress, every small step. All right, so the way that I had the couches was not gonna work. It just does not fit at all. Zip zero nada. However, I want it kind of set up like this. I kind of wanted the couch to go that way and the other couch to go over here, but there's not enough room unless you're eating the TV. So I'm gonna do something very controversial to Mary. She is not going to agree, but I'm gonna do it anyways because somebody's gotta make the decision. And that decision is that this couch, I mean, technically both the couches are broken, so either way, they've eventually got to go, but I'm just going to take it to the basement. I'm going to drop it off down there, and we're going to leave it at that. And we'll have one couch in the living room because nobody uses the couches unless you know, we're the boys and me are watching uh, anime. Sean's usually sitting on the floor. Yeah, unless it's Easter or Thanksgiving or Christmas, then we don't have people over using the couches. If anybody is doing anything, they're sitting out here in the kitchen at the kitchen table or standing around the island talking. We never have people come over and just sit on the couches unless it's those three holidays. In which case, it's Mary's parents that come over and they sit on the couches. So, if they come over, I'll just bring the couch up. Or they can sit on this couch and everybody else can sit on the dining room. She's not going to like that idea, but you know what? We're just going to do it. Opens up the space a little bit. Let's see how it looks afterwards, instead of just, because that couch is not going to fit on that wall. I don't want it on this wall, because it's not, there's not going to be much walk-in room. So it just doesn't make sense to have two couches, especially when nobody uses the couches. If anything, which is also what happens on the holidays, the boys bring their computer chairs out here. They can still do that. We've just always had two couches, you know, at my mom's house, here. We've just always had two couches. There's no need for it, nobody uses them. All right, and here we are. Still gotta set up the computer, but there's a living room now. Plenty of space. Gives us room to walk to the boys' room, to the outside, not having to walk into anything, walk in front of anybody who's watching TV or anything. And then, when she gets home, I'll get chewed out. But I did it. So yeah, if she doesn't like it, I'll change it. I'll rearrange it however I can, but functionally for the season, this is how it works. I put it downstairs in the basement, so it's, you know, still there. Didn't throw it out. And we'll wait and see. Because if anybody comes out, we'll probably all be standing outside or hanging out at the table, 
doing various whatever things, but nobody hangs out in the living room. So, I did what I did. Might get in trouble for it, but every risk, you gotta try it. Nobody took risks, then where would we be? Still in a cave, afraid of fire? I'll just wait for her to get home and let her say her part. But for me, personally, I like it. But I'm um, all for, you know, less. More games, less crud. Just living his best cat life. And then took this little thing that we usually use as a side table and placed it sideways. I think that it works. She'd probably want me to center it. What do you think? Let's see. There, I think that'll work. Alright. Back to this craziness. I'd say overall it took me about 20, 30 minutes to rearrange. Not bad. And then when she gets home, we can head out, replace this big honking son of a gun. And I think that spot will work for it. It's a really big case. And the next case that she gets will be smaller, so it won't be hanging over the edge like it is. But even so, it is fairly solid. It's not falling. So, I always make sure to do a tip test on things. I stay, uh, I'm really big on it because when I, my mom got her TV, and I, she, she put the stand, I put the stand on for her. And I set up her whole entertainment center, and I stood there, and I jiggled the TV, and I jumped up and down. And I stood right by it just to make sure that it wouldn't fall because if it does I go catch it, right? So I do a tilt test on things to make sure that we're not going to end up with broken stuff. What do you think, Jax? Always got to inspect the new and weird stuff. Goodbye, Mary. All right, so she wants me to record the boys' reaction to the change. That won't be a problem. Come on, Sean. Yeah. Almost had a nice spill there. It's a Skyler. Come on in, Deuterino. You'll see. It's right this way. Again? What's the problem? You know I hate you changing the living room around. It gets me confused because I get used to the other situation. Now I have to relearn the entire living room all over again. How dare you? You have to relearn your bathing too? Look at this. Billy Bar already had this set up before. Something similar. Except for this couch was on that wall, the other couch was on this wall. Everybody was far away from the TV. And the table was right here. This is like the third time you've changed it. Stop changing it. Third? It's like the seventh. Stop changing it. Uh-uh. 
It's my house. I will change it. You know why? Because change is good. No, change is confusing and scary. And <laughs> scary, just like your mom. I refuse to be afraid of change. All right, she'll be home soon enough. What you waiting on? The camera. You can. Here you go. Cover your work, man. You're filming my forehead. I had to use the bathroom also. All right. He's not. What did you say? Don't be something. I did what I did, and I'm not apologizing. Where's my couch? Downstairs. It's not enough room for people to sit. Okay, what people? Us. All four of us when we want to watch a movie, there's not enough people there. Who sits on the floor? The cat. Who usually sits on the floor for no reason? The cat. The one who's infatuated with the cat. Oh, Sean? Sometimes, but he's lately been laying on the couch. Hey, look. Somewhere else to sit. Four people. Problem solved. I don't like it. Alicia, Tony come over. Couch. Nobody else sits there. Easter, Turkey Day, Christmas. The only people that use the couch are your parents. Everybody else is out here. No, we sit on the couch during Christmas when we open presents. But by then you'll have everything rearranged again anyway. And I should totally keep a couch in the living room for one day out of 365. I also don't like that table there. Well, where am I putting it? It's supposed to go next to the couch so when people have drinks they can sit it there. So like right here. Isn't that what a coffee table's for? No. I really have to use the bathroom though. Go use the bathroom. I would. I still don't like it. You could have put the couch here. No. It wouldn't fit. Goes from here. To here. Tried it. Tried it multiple ways. Tried the couch going this way, and the other one going this way. You're eating the TV. My desk is a lot bigger than the other one. And you put that little shelf there. <clears throat> yep. And it gets the computer off the ground. Reduces dust. What's in the microwave? Something that little Sean, I'm pretty sure, put in. Probably a pretzel. All right, so we made the trip out. And we got out of that thingy thing. And that was hefty price. But it's for her. And she's got the 12 to 13 year old computer now. So well, I think it's 14 actually. Either way, needs to go. Look at him in his house coat. Walks around, takes all his clothes off and then puts on a house coat. Makes sense. And then we're gonna go out and grab up some food because we got leftovers that nobody wants to eat aside from the goulash. So we'll toss all those. Mary really wants a burger, so we're gonna go out and get her burger afterwards. All right, me and Sean went out and got me a new computer. It's over there. He's about to put it together. And I'm gonna make lunches for tomorrow. We also went and grabbed up dinner because nobody wants any of those leftovers that I made. So we'll probably just toss them, except for the goulash. I think Sean said that earlier. Yeah. I don't remember. But um, the boys got Taco Bell with Baja. Blech. And I got Culver's with the uh, Baja's gross. I know most people like the Baja, but I think it's disgusting. <laughs> but I'm going to make lunches while he puts my computer together. After I clear off this island, it was messier than this. Where do you want me to put this humidifier at? Uh, in the basement? We done with it? Yeah. Okay, it was in Skyler's closet, that's why I was keeping it out of the story. And Skyler's new Invisalign case came in. But she has his Invisalign in here because he's eating currently. Tell him come get his case, please. I'm gonna let Sky keep this one here and then I'm gonna open this new one and you can put this one in his lunchbox. You need some help? Down here. 
What do you need? I'll grab it. Where's some clothes, kid? What do you need? I'll grab it. Uh, Nate's yeah, clothes. The so what? There. This? Over there. This? There. This? You can watch him while you'll grab everything. Okay. That's always. Got food. So I really, really wanted a burger. Men in the maze. It's not even enough dishes to do dishes tonight because we went home. Well, unless I throw away all that food. I kind of want to keep it for one more day just in case the guy wants to eat it. But. She was the only one that really liked the food. I'm so baffled by this case. Do you need some help? I'll help you in a minute. He's baffled by my case. You just need female eyes on it. That's all it is. Yeah. You want to help me make these lunches real fast and I can help you? No. Okay. I'll keep trying to figure this out. We just got a phone call from the school stating that the boys had a half day, had have a half day on Friday. And Sean was thought it was for them to say that one of the boys was late. He said, You better not have been late. How early did they get to school? Seven o'clock, hung up. Nice. I just dropped that piece of cheese on the floor. Okay. Yeah, their school opens up at 7, but class starts at 7.20, so they were late. They must have been in the bathroom doing something or talking to their friends. But it wasn't that. It was just reminding us that there's a half day on Friday. Which Sean is um, doing, little Sean's doing senior exiting stuff on Friday. Got in class, but... I guess they're going to go out to the football field and take pictures of the seniors and they're going to do some other kind of like exiting program stuff that they need to do to exit high school. Which I never did in high school. But I also didn't go to a traditional high school. I went to a high school for pregnant and teen moms. 
because I had a little Sean when I was 18. I was a junior. And I graduated a half a year early. So. One, two, three. <laughs> What's up, Sean? Oh, the way that they package this graphics card in here. Put styrofoam underneath it or whatever. <coughs> Did you figure out how to open it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They're just trying to make sure that during its movement, mm -hmm. that it doesn't like move at all. So they put this underneath it. Ah. And then they strapped a Velcro strap onto it. <laughs> okay. Let us, let us, don't forget the Interesting, because this, uh, this case, it's a side panel you just push on and pull out. There's no screws or anything. Interesting. That's why I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, what the heck is this? It's a case. It's a dangerous case. You're welcome. Because if I go to grab it wrong. It'll just slide and fall on your hands. Well, don't grab it wrong. You're welcome. It'll be a beautiful disaster. way later than when I normally finish the video because I'm usually editing right now. I like to have the video edited and in bed by 7 o'clock. Not to sleep by 7, but in bed by 7. I usually don't fall asleep till like 8, 8.30. I don't even think I'm going to get off the computer until 8. Oh well. I'll be okay. Broke. No! My chip clip broke, Sean! No! Can you fix it? Oh, I fixed it. Do you want to do wireless on it? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I could for you. Wire is always faster, check. I'm wired. Oh, boy. I never put the man in. Okay, I'm going to forget that that's there and leave it out all night. these up on your computer just in case you ever need to go wireless for whatever reason. Okay, I don't And invisible case. Okay. And my lunch. your computer sitting in a very secure spot. on the edge of your desk. <laughs> Alright. Lunches are made. I should move it over here. All I see is your butt. That's the best part. Here you
Hey, yo, come here. Hold on, I'm about to crash again. Scared Jack. Box of I, I was thinking that I was missing a cable, but not missing a cable. I just don't some? have a new cable. No, no. Okay. Maybe Sean put these dishes away so I can do another load. Actually, where's that new HDMI cable that I got? The one that's right there, the one you just bought. Yeah. Am I dead? No, the one that's right here on the table. This one can get plugged into here. Because this is very really short. Press the button and give her a spin. Press the button and what? Press the button and give her a spin. See how it works. Oh, can I peel this off? Yeah, both of them. One on that side and the one on the front. Make sure to stabilize the computer before you start pulling on it. Yeah, let's it up there. Yeah. You can't get it past here. 
push hard with it. That's supposed to be the whole thing. How did it turn around? Figure it out. Okay. Magic! Wow. I thought you said it wouldn't be loud. It's not as loud as your airplane. Baloney, it's the same to volume. You gotta mess it up. Hmm. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. Mm, starting to. Oh, I just noticed it's a it's got a closed loop water cooling. It has closed loop water cooling. That? See these tubes? Uh -huh. They go to this radiator, uh -huh. which vents out using air yeah. to cool it down. One goes back to the processor to so grab the heat. So it's fancier than yours. No. Same. Mine's fancier I than yours. I got a water cooler. Mine's fancier. Ow! Don't go poke my ribs. Um, <clears throat> if you ever, which should never happen. I'm knocked over my pins. Okay. If you ever. See liquid in there, just shooting around. Turn it off. Shut it off immediately. Also, why was my sticker over there on my on the coffee table? Because it wasn't stuck to anything. I know. I don't want to stick it, but I like it there. No, maybe you should stick it there. I don't want to stick it there. Yeah. Okay. Even though you'll never be able to reach it. I'll reach it. I'll stand up and get it. I'm hot. It's really hot in here. But now you'll see that your fans do not spin on the graphics card. Which one's that? This one? Yep, unless it's running a game and it actually heats up. Oh, that's for the computer. I probably should keep that, huh? Yes. I'll put it somewhere safe. I'll put it in the build thing. I was trying to move this over enough. I don't want it over because so I can't... Don't? I can't reach it over there. I have tiny little arms and a big head. And I'm not make sure that this plane mm -hmm. was very well thought of. Master? Yeah, I noticed it was over there. I couldn't reach it. No, I want to be in front of that one. That's the secondary one that I just had, <clears> and <throat> that's the main one. What if I move that over there? I'll be mad because I want it on that side. <laughs> Why do you want me to do this? Let's name your device. I do, but you got to do the dishes. Now I'm waiting on Sean. Do it. Your name's Mary, right? No. Yep. No, it's not. I even brought your little stool over for your feetsies. The only time that that'll actually uh, turn on 
unless if, unless you're running a game, is if uh, you first start up your computer, Test it'll it. spin for like two seconds. Play The Sims, it'll come on. Yeah, <laughs> it'll definitely come on The Sims. This is Sean's But you can also feel the temperature of your CPU by just doing this. I will never do that. <clears throat> that I, oh, never mind. I was have an issue. Jackson probably up there and turn off the computer with the buttons on the front, so he can't. But I'm 100% sure he's doing fine up there. You better like make that. sure he doesn't. <laughs> he's it gonna won't, try. It won't break it, but it will stop it from cooling down. He's gonna. He'll do it while we're not at home. We'll just go up there and lay down. They better not, cause uh. Um, let me move this. I don't. Want well, I guess I'm in the bush as well, I think. You went outside. I know you do. No, you don't need to go outside. If we have one of these go out, we have an extra. Ready to end the video? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Let's do that. Alright. We're going to end the video here. I'm going to do the dishes while I wait for the computer to upload and then export or edit and export and hopefully embed by my normal time. Why are you doing that? All right, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Merry Christmas.